Hey guys, it is Brayden TCT, and welcome back to another Rise of Civilizations video. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about important buildings to upgrade in Rise of Civilizations. So first, I want to explain that this game is not like Clash of Clans where it, you need to upgrade till max to upgrade your city hall. It's a, almost a complete opposite because this game is not Clash of Clans. It's a different game. And actually, this game is pretty much a rush to win. Like, there is a lot of buildings that you don't need, and a lot of things, like, you pretty much get behind if you don't rush. It's, it's like, the complete opposite from Clash of Clans. And so, now that we got that out of the way, let's just um, get back to our upgrading buildings, important things to upgrade before you're going to the next city hall level. So first on the list we got the tavern the tavern it gives you free chests it gives you um the more you upgrade it the more silver chests you get in a day and the quicker that that gold chest that you want you get quicker instead of you having to wait longer to get that free golden chest so that's that's pretty self-explanatory but the next one we got hospitals and like i explained in my first um, beginner's guide video, the hospitals, if, you, let's click on the info, let's, um, no, that's not it, uh, help, info, so, like I showed in my beginner's guide video, you can pause the video and read this, but it pretty much says that if you don't, um, get your hospitals and you have more than can hold by the hospitals, the one, the more, the ones that are severely wounded, and if it's more severely wounded than the hospitals can take, the ones that are left over will die and the ones that can fit in the hospitals will survive. And that's not good because that means you're losing troops. And you want to have your troops alive, so that's why you want to keep these upgraded. So if, so, and then, and also you don't want to send out more troops than your hospitals can handle because that's how you get all your severely wounded. That means that a lot of them are going to die and you don't want that. So make sure to always have these maxed out or really high level for your city hall level. So. Now that we got that out of the way, let's do the Alliance Center. And the Alliance Center means that you can, um, you can help people. Wait, the place where it shows it isn't Alliance. So, that means that there's a certain amount of, max amount of things that you can, uh, that people can help you with. Like, let's, let's see with this one. If I up if I didn't upgrade it to the next level, then I would have had 20 people that can help me at a time, and that's one percent. Or I think you can upgrade it more for the percentage that people can help you with on your um when they help you. But it's either at the lowest a minute, and if not a minute, then it's like can be a percentage. So you really want to have this maxed out because that means that you get your buildings upgraded faster. So in the next one we have army camps, and army camps make it so that you can um, train more troops at a time, so that you can like, um, like let's sh let's show you. Um, let's just speed this up so I can show you. Uh, ten minutes, okay. So that means that, um, if like I didn't have this a higher level, then that means I could have like done like five hundred at a time. But then if I had it maxed, then like I could have done like a thousand at a time. So it's a lot better, and also. I wasn't planning on mentioning this, but Echo didn't know this in his video, so I want to show you that if you upgrade a unit that you have before, it costs less, but it gets that previous unit to a higher level, so that like you have more of that troops, but it costs less. So you want to do this because it it's just overall save you loot, and loot can be can like go really fast so you, you want to have this loot because I don't know it's just it's just really good so let's let's train some more of these let's just get some more in here and then the last one I want to talk about is the scout camps and in the scout camps they just mean that you can uh, scout more land and scout faster that's just pretty much it but uh, yeah, so may I'm gonna do a video on scouting. I don't know if it's already out by the time I post this video, but I have not recorded it yet. So I'm probably gonna do it like after this video, after I record this video. I don't know, but you wanna have these out. I'm gonna do a full video explaining this. 
And that is it for today's video. Make sure to leave a like and comment what you thought about this video and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already if you're new to my channel because that really helped me out. And also, and also make sure to share this video with a friend if they might need to know these things in this game. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.